Right, so I got a lot of questions on my last video about why are you back on disc brakes? Now, so originally, let's go through the whole Charlie Carbon Cycling rim brake disc brake. So obviously start off, all my bikes rim brake. Disc brakes came out, I said they are useless, do not get rim brakes. Uh, so this looks like a big Yui. However, I think I will clarify that. Like, I do think for most applications, the rim brake is good. I think the rim brake bike, you can have very light. The rim brake, you can have light and have more aero because you can have deeper wheels because uh, it weighs less, uh, obviously. So you have deeper wheels and it weighs the same. So that is good. Uh, for example, my last bike, the Elves, and then my last rim brake bike, the Elves, had like MV7.8s. And then we had some nice e-brakes, SRAM Red E-Tap. Like it was outrageous, nice paint job. Uh, and that was only like 7.3, 7.4. So actually very competitive weight, um, you know, with deep wheels. Uh, so then that uh, I replaced with the Canyon. Uh, again, show, obviously I'll have some pictures and stuff up. But the thing with the Canyon was, well, we're gonna do a different video on the Canyon because I think there are some issues that I didn't appreciate when I bought it that could have been a slight reason to not buy it in the future. And I think, uh, you know, mainly on, on sizing uh, and the whole headset situation. But anyway, we'll get, we'll get into that in a different video. So I raced on the disc brake bike for most of this year uh, up until French Guiana, and I think it was good. I think personally, uh, I'm good at descending. I wouldn't say I'm outrageous, uh, but in a bunch, maybe 60, 70%. Uh, I'm not the, definitely in the bottom, not bottom 10%, definitely not top 10%, but you know, probably above average would be my personal thing in the races I do. Obviously I'm not racing world tour. I'm not actually that good, but in the race I do, I'm okay. Um, and when you're on rim brake and everyone else is on disc brake, that is where the issue starts. So if everyone's on rim brake, no stress. Uh, you know, if you don't race, I really don't think disc brake is that big, except in the wet, maybe, but uh, in the dry rim brake fine in racing on descents, but I do think in the wet, not being able to brake at the same time is a real difficult thing to get over because if you're not like the best descender in the bunch, if everyone else is braking at a different time, it's really hard to make that speed up in the corner because obviously if it's wet, slightly less grip. So what happens is they slam on late, you open up the gap because you have to brake earlier, you then can't close that in the corner or I can't close it in the corner. So then there's a bigger gap. And it also just plays with your head because you're racing and you're like, if they slam on, I won't be able to stop. And I think that's kind of where the disc brake does help me a lot in terms of on the confidence on the downhill. Um, so then in Guyana, uh, I borrowed my friend's truck, Monda, um, SL, uh, rim brake. They're pan flat every day, more or less, you know, a couple clients, but no technical descents. And also... Uh, completely dry, never rained the whole race. There, rim brake fine, no stress. Like zero issues having a rim brake bike. Um, and yeah, no worries at all. So then when I was at Bore Scott 4 to replace the Canyon, because um, that had some headset issues. Anyway, that people seem to take objection to, like why did you go back to disc brakes? And that is ultimately the reason. I think when I'm racing, it does help on the descents uh, is basically my my conclusion. In terms of the downsides of the disc brake bike, there are quite a lot. So my can my uh, Scott Ford is very heavy. That is the kind of biggest issue. Rubbing of rotors, I have not had on 12 speed. It's not really a big issue. Um, and as your rotors get bent in travel, which can happen, but then just take the rotors off, doesn't happen. Um, I do think they are just more complicated. There's more to go wrong. So for sure, like, you know, there are a lot of downsides uh, for them in terms of just like extra maintenance, you know, the whole internal headset thing that's a disc brake thing. like all those things are annoying i do admit which is why i don't think rim brakes are obsolete 100 percent. i just think the way the market goes is people who are racing they seem to think sorry they're like okay disc brake good for like random people just mincing around in lanes and then they're like and then all the basic get all the races on it and then the races because everyone's a disc you basically have to ride disc because obviously it's a little bit a little bit worrying in some places um you know in the uk less so because it's not as long the sense etc etc but in other countries there are. And then it's kind of like people who just like like a rim brake bike just to mince around in the sun. You know, there's just none available. So that is kind of an issue. Uh, but yeah, that's my conclusion on the disc brake thing. Am I a convert? I would say yes. I think the confidence that it gives me on descents is big. And I think I've got a lot better at descending due to that. And I think that is a performance enhancer for me in racing over the weight uh, obviously, as a smaller person, you know, around 60 kilos, it does make a big difference having an 8 kilo bike compared to a 7.2 kilo bike. Like that 800 grams is obviously proportionally a lot more for me than other people. Uh, but I do think 
uh, in my opinion at least, uh, it's kind of non-negotiable for a bike if I'm going to go racing downhills because I just do think I have a lot less stress in the bunch and it's just it's just better uh, in general. But I do think like I'm doing hill climbs at the moment and it is annoying having a heavy bike. So I see both sides of the argument. I'm not really like uh, 100% you know, against rim brakes at all. Uh, I just think for the application I use, uh, it makes sense for me to use disc brake because that is where the area I'm not as strong at on the descending. But, you know, it definitely does help. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.